Hello everyone, my name is SpyTheGB and welcome back to the second episode of my UHC Minecraft playthrough. As you can see, we are currently still inside of our little cave base that we made in the last episode because of course there were a bunch of guys on the surface. Now, if I am correct in remembering, it was about to become morning. So, yep, as you can see, the light is starting to come through. Let's just go up on the surface really quick. There's a skeleton right there. I'm out of here. <laughs> you ain't doing that to me, sunshine. Come on then. Come on, come down here. Come on. I await your death. I await your death. It will be sweet. It will be sweet. I may have to do a little bit of trickery right here. So if I just pop down here and then do this. Uh, can I like... Oh, God, he's right there. Hey! Hey, Dukin! Oh, he's dead. <laughs> All right, I mean, that was... That was interesting. I mean, I got him, which I guess is kind of cool. We didn't take any damage either, which is awesome. Right, now then, it is now becoming morning, which is very, very cool indeed. Once again, let's go up on the surface, just have a quick peep around. I heard a zombie, but I couldn't quite locate where he was, which is a little bit concerning. There was also a creeper, skeleton, and zombie inside the water over there, which is interesting. I can see a creeper up there. Right, okay, so... Onwards with the thing up. Oh, that, that's who it is. It's you, you jerk bag. God damn it. Right, okay, let's just have a, uh, a quick scope around. I can't see anybody right now, which is all right. I would really like to try to get down to the sheep down there. So let's try and do that. All right, there's a sheep beside the pen as well. There's a spider as well. Um, hmm. Right, all seems good apart from that. So let's go ahead and do a bit of tree parkour. There's a skeleton right there. I need to be careful of that. That would be very, very good indeed. Okay. Uh, can I can I make this without taking full damage? You know, I'm not going to risk it. I'm going down here. There we go. Fan-dabatastic. All right, buddy. God, oh, spider. Get wrecked. All right, you're dead. There's another skeleton. Got zombies over here, which I guess is okay. Uh, four sheep. I mean, I'm going to try and get this guy in here as well. Come on. Come on, buddy. There we go. A third sheep! It is awesome! <laughs> oh, this is friggin' awesome. Right, here we go. So let's just pop in here really quick. Uh, you could stay in there, buddy. You ain't going out. You ain't going out. Not by any stretch. There we go. Six wool. We now have enough to make a bed. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Right, there's no one around to kill me, is there? I hope not, because otherwise I'm going to get a bit salty. Right, okay, so here we go, and here we go. So we can now sleep, ladies and gentlemen, which is very, very good indeed. A basic luxury to our world. Uh, can I can I get you in as well? There you go. <laughs> I'm not even having to do anything, and I'm just still getting them in there. That's amazing. We now have four sheep in there. Sweet. Right, so that would be good for a little breeding ground. Which is amazing. Uh, let's just pop over here really quick. Uh, not too much going on. Once again, skeletons and creepers. Not a good combination if I've got to give a comment. Uh, I would kind of like to go ahead and kill that spider though. If I kill the spider, I might get uh, three strings so I can make a bow. Right, okay. Let's try this thing out. Ah, right, buddy. Come on. Oh, get Phil. Careful. Right, how much is that? Three? Okay, perfect. We have enough to make ourselves a, uh, a good old-fashioned bow. Or we can make a fishing rod. Ooh. Ooh, now that's a decision we have to try and make. Mmm. Fishing for food. Do you know what? I'm actually going to make a fishing rod. I think a fishing rod will be, uh, will be the thing that makes the most sense. Let's be honest right here. Yeah. Alright, uh, yeah. Oh, let's make ourselves a fishing rod. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. We have ourselves a fishing rod. Now we can go ahead and grab ourselves a little bit more food, which is cool. Uh, let's just go ahead and temporarily eat the zombie flesh for now. I would like to try and trap that chicken somewhere. I think that'd be a cool idea. Right, okay, let's just pop back up. And... Yeah! All is uh, all is good. I guess without further ado, we're just going to do a little bit of a uh, fishing trip. Hey, look at this! There are two cows! There's one there, there's one up there! Oh my god! Ooh! I almost looked at an enderman right there. Ooh! That could have been dangerous. That could have been very, very dangerous indeed. Right, okay. Uh, goal numero... Like three or four, I don't know how many things we've done this episode so far, but oh well. We're going to do a bit of fishing right now, and I'm going to do it in the form of a montage time lapse. So I'm going to go and get on with this thing, and afterwards, we're going to go ahead and make ourselves a cow farm, or at least attempt to. So yeah, let's get on with it. All 
Alrighty guys, I think that'll do for the fishing for today. As you can see, we've got four raw salmon and four raw fish. Now, the good thing about getting salmon, of course, is the fact that if you cook it, it actually gives you more hunger back than the regular fish do. The regular fish, when cooked, give you two and a half hunger bars, and the salmon give you three when cooked, which is very, very cool indeed. So, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead over here. Uh, looks like the hostile mobs have despawned for the most part, which is awesome. Okay, so let's go and make ourselves... I'm going to make a couple of furnaces this time. There we go, and we're gonna use we're gonna use wood as the fuel source this time because I don't think it really makes sense for me to use coal since we don't really have a lot. Uh, there we go. Uh, let's put that in there, and three more bits of wood, and boom, there we go. Right, okay, so I think the next thing I want to do is I would like to try and perhaps light this place up. I know I said I was going to do a cow farm, but I honestly think that, you know, torching up this island would be uh, a slightly more relevant and slightly more immediate thing that we need to do, if you get what I mean. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get on with that. We are, of course, going to use charcoal, because obviously we couldn't dig the other coal up from the cave, because uh, I'm pretty sure there was that pond above it, so... So, uh, yeah, that's a thing. Right. I mean, yeah. It would be easier if we managed to grab one piece of wheat, because then we'd be able to lure the cows into the pen instead of having to push them around, which, of course, is a bit of a pain in the buttsy. Right. Okay, so let's just carry on digging out this wood. We don't need a great deal more. I'm going to say that this will be the last tree, actually. Yeah. Alright, there we go, fantastic. So, let's go back to the uh, furnaces, over furnaces over here. Uh, these are all done already, which is fantastic. There we go, delicious fish. I can't believe we managed to get a blooming Nemo as well. <laughs> Nemo, the clownfish, indeed. That is a thing that we have on our world, which is awesome. Right, okay, so. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six bits will do the job in getting nine bits. Yeah, pretty sure that's right. I think my maths is correct. Right. Okay, so, I guess in the meantime, we can make a start on doing the old, uh, torchy. Torchy, torch, torchy. Alright, okay, let's just do this really quick. We do need a chest or two as well, just for storage purposes, of course. So let's go and do that. There we go, I'm going to put it right there. And I'm just going to chuck everything in there, pretty much, because uh, most of the stuff we don't need on our person. There we go. We managed to grab ourselves a, uh, a slightly, you know, defective fishing rod. Hmm from the fishing trip, which is pretty cool. Right, okay. So, apart from that, everything is looking pretty damn good on the island. Let's go ahead and start torching this thing up, shall we? Hmm, this is gonna be awesome. So I'll put one there, and we'll probably just put one on each of the corners over here as well, with a sheeper. There we go, fantastic. Uh, one over here, one over here, and then of course one in the corner right here. There we go, fantastic. And then we'll go ahead and grab the rest, and it is now starting to become nighttime again, which is again a bit concerning, but oh well, hopefully we'll be able to survive this pretty easily. Alright, so again, with the torching, let's just get this thing rolling. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to do the whole island before it becomes nighttime, but I think we're going to be able to do our main area over here, which I guess is alright. So, uh, yeah, as long as no hostile mobs spawn sort of, you know, right beside our sheep to kill them, then, you know, I guess things are alright. So let's just carry on over here. There we go, we could start sort of moving over this way a bit. There we go, alright, do, 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 do. Four, three, oh, that was a bit... Weird. <laughs> we're placing it in water like a true professional. A one, and we'll put the last one right here. There we go. So we've got a nicely, uh, we've got a nice amount of area lit up over here, which is very, very cool indeed. I don't think it's going to be enough to sort of stop the hostile mobs from spawning over there, so we may have to go back into the cave for a little while. Uh, hmm. I would like to try and obtain a bone, because if we manage to grab a bone, we'll be able to bone meal this, grab ourselves the wheat, and then lure the cows. Yeah, that'd be a cool idea, but at the same time, I think it might be time to go mining. I don't know about you guys, but I think it's that time. Alright, let's go grab some stuff out of, the, out of our chest really quick. So we've got wood, uh, we've got the bed, of course. If I know we can sleep, what am I on about? I'm being stupid. <laughs> oh my lord, I tell you something, my memory is just terrible. Oh man. I bet you guys were, like, already in the comments area again, like, Oh, but then you should sleep, you dumbo. <laughs> and you know what? I, I would not blame you for calling me a dumbo. That was so stupid of me. I mean, my memory is, like, beyond terrible sometimes. I swear to God. Right, okay. Uh, oh, hey, Zomble. How you doing, buddy? Hey. All right, you're dead. Uh, I want to try and keep my hunger at max at all costs. Uh, mostly because I don't want to starve. Uh, so let's grab the apples out. Let's grab these out. I really, really wish I had bone meal, but obviously that's not a thing we have. Uh, we could potentially go scouting for a skeleton that might be around here. I don't know. 
maybe around here. Obviously being the operative phrase right there. Oh, hi. How you doing, buddy? All right. Come on. There you go. All right, you're dead. Sweet. All right. We're still good. Can't hear any skelly butts around, though. Hmm. I wonder where they are. I have no idea. Obviously, I didn't leave them enough time to spawn. Perhaps. Yeah, I'm going to go with that theory. <laughs> Alright, in which case, uh, I think the next thing we are going to do is indeed mining. So, uh, we're going to go down to the little sort of mine entrance down here, which is awesome. Alright, so let's just hop down here. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Yep, everything is all good to go. So, let's go mining, shall we? Let's go down here and let's see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. Hopefully, I didn't leave any dark spots in here for the people to spawn. That'd be kind of bad, wouldn't it? <laughs> Right, okay, so we already kind of started digging the staircases, so I guess what we're going to do is we're just going to do a tiny bit of mining in terms of uh, the staircase, and I'm going to do this, uh, I'll, well, I'll bring you guys back if I manage to find a cave, basically, so uh, yeah, let me get on with this, and I shall meet you guys back very, very shortly. Alrighty, guys, I've just mined out into something, and I have a bad suspicion that this is in fact a ravine. Ah! Right, okay, that's not the greatest thing in the world because it means there's probably going to be a bunch of mobs down there. Now, the worst thing is, the more that I uh, light up the surface with the torches, the worse the underground spawns in terms of hostile mobs is going to be. Because, obviously, you know, the less spaces you leave for them to spawn, the more they're going to spawn in the spaces that they can spawn, if you get what I mean. Right. The weird thing is, I can hear people, like, right beside me. I keep hearing... I swear to god, I'm not going mad, I swear to god, I keep hearing like tibbity tabbity sounds. Are they like up here? Huh, maybe not. Huh, interesting. Right, okay, so I'm going to start digging out the sort of top of the staircase because we're going to be putting down the uh, the stair blocks because obviously I don't want to be jumping around to- Ooh. That's, the, that's probably the sound of the tibbity tabbity. This is probably a bad idea. Hello? Oh, there's no one here. Whew! Thank God! <laughs> I'll tell you something, I would have been, uh, I would have been scared. Alright. Oh. Okay. That one's alright as well. I, I can hear tibbity tabbing. That can only be the sound of a creeper. Or a witch. It's either a witch or a creeper. Either way, I can't say I'm entirely excited to find out what it is. Right. Okay, here we go. Let's start putting down the stair blocks, and then of course we'll be able to just get up here without having to jump and therefore lose hunger. Uh, yeah. This is, uh, this is pretty cool. Not doing too bad, are we? Not doing too bad. Sweet. Right, so, uh, I'll make some more. I'll make some more. I don't see a reason why we shouldn't. So, we've got stairs. We've got a bit more in the way of, uh, torches, potentially. Right. Okay. We got a thing to do, friends. We got a thing to do. We got to explore this thing. Possibly. I don't know. I don't know where this goes. Oh, there's a skeleton right down there. That is actually a skeleton. Oh, boy. That is not something I want to be seeing. Oh, man. Okay, this is going to get very, very hairy very, very quickly if I'm not careful. Ooh. Oh, God. <laughs> the nerves are kicking in. The nerves are kicking in. I really, really don't want to lose any health. If I lose any health, then, uh, yeah. Things are probably going to go pretty much downhill from there on in. Right, okay, so uh, I guess we're just going to continue down. Maybe sort of burrow out into the ravine or go around it, potentially. I don't know. I'm still kind of nervous. I don't like ravines in UHC because they tend to contain a bunch of mobs, and in this case it does. It contains a blooming skeleton. Skeletons are not very good. Oh. Okay. Once again, being careful. Come on, Python. You can do this. You can do this. Um, do I dare? Oh, gold! There's gold over there! Right, there's a creeper, there's gold over, I really want that gold. Okay, that looks like it goes down to diamond level, which is awesome. Careful! Right, there's a skeleton right there. Is that the only one? I don't know, man, I can see a creeper as well. Hmm, right. Okay, I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to continue the staircase over this way. I think that'd be the, the most logical idea, because then we can get down to the same level as them, if you get what I mean. Right, we're about to run out of pickaxe as well. Oh, present tense, we have run out of pickaxe. God diggity! <laughs> oh, oh boy. Right, we're still good to go though, we're still good to go, we haven't lost any health. Ooh, right, okay. So, let's go make ourselves another pickaxe. And, uh... Yeah, we're gonna go and see where this goes out, basically. Oh, man. 
really want to get that gold. If I can get that gold, I'll be really, really happy. We need to get ourselves an iron pickaxe before we do so, though, don't we? Oh, man, I forgot about that. There's a certain type of pickaxe. Yep. <laughs> Played this game for four and a half years, and I can't remember how to mine up gold. Well done, Python. Well done, buddy. Ooh, iron. Okay. Ooh, more iron. Wow, that's a fantastic start. Wow. Okay. Brilliant stuff. Alright guys, I think that's a pretty good note to end the episode upon. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, and of course if you're excited to see more, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. I would much appreciate it. And of course, uh, you guys can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But it looks like we have accidentally come across an iron mother load. And uh, I am a very, very happy bunny indeed. <laughs> Look at this, man. We've got loads of it. Wow. Okay. But yeah, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the next episode.